You were one of the speakers at today's meeting on fundamental rights situation in Hungary. How would you describe the current situation? Amnesty International is very concerned about the rights uh, situation in Hungary currently. Over the past few years, we have documented the number of uh, uh, human rights abuses committed against various groups. The government uh, deliberately targets uh, vulnerable populations in Hungary, uh, the sexual minorities, the Roma minority, refugees and migrants at Hungary's border and inside the country. We come to this hearing today because we want the European Parliament and the European Commission to take firm action on Hungary to make sure that it's restored uh, to a state of democracy and the rule of law. You focused some of your comments on the situation of uh, refugees, in particular refugees and migrants coming in to Hungary. What is the situation as we speak? Since mid-2015, Hungary has adopted a raft of legislation and practices uh, at the border of Hungary, but also inside the country. They've not just constructed a fence, a physical barrier to keep people out, but they've also adopted various pieces of legislation that made life miserable for those who managed to get in. They apply a wide uh, range of measures, including asylum detention for the majority. There are very uh, serious issues around the pushback of people from inside the territory of Hungary without process, and there are reports, serious reports of violence from the border area. We've done various pieces of research on this, and the situation is still uh, as deplorable as it was. Some people in Hungary will say that you have the right to defend your external borders. Is this not a reasonable request? The defense of external borders is not just a right, but it's also an obligation. However, there are safeguards that ensure that individual human rights are respected and that no one uh, is, is, becomes a victim of these border procedures. What we see is not just uh, excessive statements by the government equating uh, migrants with, with, uh, with the national security risks and potential terrorists, but also we see crackdown on them, uh, violence at them, and uh, summary pushbacks, collective expulsions without any process. This is in contradiction of their supposed aim of identifying potential security threats and of uh, screening uh, everyone who comes to Hungary's borders. Do you think the European Commission should be doing more? The European Commission has already launched infringement proceedings against Hungary in December 2015. However, it has not completed this process. We call on the Commission to complete this process and to take uh, action against Hungary, and particularly to also consider taking new action in light of new legislation passed last year, allowing the summary pushbacks of, of refugees and migrants from inside the territory, but also in light of new proposals which envisage uh, the, the automatic detention of all asylum seekers in the country. Is there a crisis? in Hungary when it comes to asylum seekers, refugees. What are the numbers like? There are altogether around 400 asylum seekers in Hungary currently. The government maintains that there is an ongoing pressure on the Hungarian borders and equates uh, the arrival of new asylum seekers as a threat to national security, yet they barely uh, let a handful of people enter the country and access its, its asylum procedures every day. There is no crisis in Hungary, there is a political crisis and everyone who applies for asylum in Hungary could be taken care of within the existing infrastructure. Last year, the government held a referendum. Uh, Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch described that campaign, referendum campaign, as a xenophobic one. Nevertheless, the government got 98% uh, of the vote for their opposition, their, their referendum opposing resettlement. What would you say about this referendum now? The failed referendum was just one tactic that the government used to push its own xenophobic agenda. They've spent tens of millions of euros on a question that was not adequately posed and that, was, that did not genuinely ask for the view of the Hungarian voters. Uh, the referendum failed, there was no sufficient turnout, yet the government keeps on referring to it as a successful case and keeps on uh, basing its, its policies on that failed referendum.